All right, everyone. This is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Friday Night Magic Duels. In this episode, we're taking a look at a deck that I call Fading Revenge. This is a white, red, and green ramp deck, basically. Uh, usual ramp deck, you're ramping up to big, great stuff while holding your opponent at bay. This deck was originally, or it's based off a deck created by Luke Deppner on the Magic Duel subreddit, and it was modified by our friend uh, Atma Dog on um, on the Magic Duel subreddit. And so this is the modified deck list, and uh, let's go into the deck itself so you can see how it's put together. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you're used to ramp decks, then you know what to expect. Lots of cards to get lands and mana, and then stuff to big stuff to play. So we have a single Oaf of Nyssa, we have three Vessel of Nascency, we have two Sylvan Advocates, four Grapple with the Past, one Nyssa Vastwood Seer, uh, two Tireless Trackers, one Reclamation Sage, two Radiant Flames, two Eldritch Evolution. 3 Nissa's Pilgrimage, 1 Gisela the Broken Blade, 2 Woodland Wanderers, 2 Explosive Vegetations, 1 Nahiri the Harbinger, 1 Archangel of Avacyn, Avacyn, uh, 1 Ishkana Graft Widow, 2 Planner Outbursts, 1 Linvala the Preserver, 1 Green Warden of Murasa, 1 Woodland Bellower, 1 Chandra Flamecaller, and 1 Runa the Fading Light one Gaia's Revenge, and one Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. We have two Plains, two Mountains, eight Forests, two Needle Spires, a uh, single Cinder Glade, uh, a single Canopy Vista, two Rootbound Crags, two Clifftop Retreats, and two Sun Petal Groves. Okay, without further ado, let's see this deck in action. All right, so our opponent is going to be playing first. We got two lands, which is not terrible. It's our colors that we want. We're primarily green and white. Um, this is actually pretty decent. We'll keep this hand. We don't have a turn one play. We do have a turn two uh, grapple with the pass. He gets a first turn Jotty offshoot, which is uh, really great for him. He's going to gain a lot of life, but we're okay with our opponent gaining life uh, because usually when we attack, it's for massive amounts. So let's, uh, we don't want to put this Canopy Vista, right? There's no need to. So we'll just go ahead and, right, this comes into play. Two more basic lands. Oh, okay. Oh, let's just go ahead and pop that down now. Turn two, we'll put this forest. And then we can grapple the, with the pass for another, um, another land. And then this is pilgrimage for some more, possibly. It's probably what's gonna happen. We'll put that and we'll pass the turn. See what our opponent does. I'd like to get this tireless tracker, but I really need to get my mana base uh, in order here. And I got uh, pretty good stuff here. We should hit a land with the grapple. And I gotta make sure I don't miss my opportunity. So here we go, grapple with the past. I need an untapped land. Uh, that will do, I think. Yes, that counts as a plains. Thank goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and cliff top retreat and Nissa's pilgrimage. I really would like to do that when I have Tyler's tracker down, but I think I really want to get this going. All right. And we had, oh, we had the Spell Mastery. Oh, yeah, because Plan Alpers is, okay. So we got the Spell Mastery out of that, which is good. Uh, we have too many cards in hand. Um, when it dies, it, we get the effect. Um, I actually think we could just let this Vessel of Nascency go. I think it's done its job. I like everything else that we have. Um, so let's go ahead and let that go. I think we're well on our way to doing the things we need to do. Now our opponent looks like, has he missed a land drop? It looks like it. I think he might have missed two land drops. So if he's mana screwed, he is in big trouble. 
Um, we could get a woodland wanderer here and make him for each color of mana I've spent to cast it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. We can get make him a five five. Drop a forest down, and he's got vigilance and trample, so he'll just go right through with this jotty offshoot. And unfortunately, our opponent just had two slow of a start now, so unless he get all right there he goes there he goes he's probably waiting for that we'll sacrifice that that's okay we got plenty more we got plenty more things to pull out at you we got an archangel avison which is nice um oh shoot i made a mistake there i should have uh well actually i could just get a green water moras and get the woodland wanderer back Let's go with that. Planet Alpers would be nice, but let's go that. So now he's got two more big threats he's got to deal with that he knows of, and then we've got plenty more. So do we have? Uh, we don't have Delirium just yet. We'll get that soon enough. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to do here? Um, when it enters the battle, you could control gain indestructible until end of turn. Um, I could throw out the Woodland Wanderer. Uh, let's just go ahead and attack. Doesn't have trample or anything, so. Let's see what he does here. Just gets hit. Um, I think rather than this one big woodland wanderer, I think I'm gonna spread out what I what I got. Although going with the woodland wanderer could just give me just help us end it. Now we'll just go with tireless tracker. We'll spread out our offense here and a Sylvan advocate. That's that's still pretty good. Trying to stay alive with that life gain there, but that's going to start going away really quickly unless he can uh, get something going here. I don't know if he's some kind of super friends deck, but all right, there we go. He hit his explosive vegetation, so things may change, but it might be too late. Might be too late. We'll see how this goes. I don't assume that I've won GS yet. All right, let's drop this Needle Spires down. Because that'll give him... Well, not, it'll give us a clue token. We don't need to play any of these right now, so let's just go ahead and go into attack. And we're just going to attack with everything. I don't think he has any kind of play here other than just taking the damage. And that's 9, 12 damage. Um, did we, I don't remember if, I didn't notice if he got double plane, smoldering marsh. I don't think he has the planner outburst, but if it does, we got a wood, yeah, let's, well, I've got, I'm able to kill him with what I have on the board here. So do I extend? I think so. It's fine. Let's go ahead and play this. Play it for the a max that we can. And there we go. Now he may have a planner outburst. But that's okay if he does. But we might see some kind of planeswalker plop down, but it's kinda kinda too late. A little too late. And that's unfortunate, got mana screwed. But at least you get to see how, you know, basically what this deck does. It's it's a ramp deck, what, what you used to. All right, he's going to do Nissa's Renewal. Okay, that's, that helps him. That's really nice. That's pretty key right here. That'll put him at 15 life. Uh, but we're hitting for, we're swinging for uh, 17 damage. 
we've got 17 damage coming his way and we're gonna we're gonna pop this actually a little bit more 18 damage all right during this end step let's go ahead and pop this makes our tireless tracker a bit bigger draws us a card our own explosive vegetation uh is it worth throwing out um i think i want to keep I think I want to keep Archangel Avison up in case he does plan outburst. So let's go ahead and drop this Needle Spires. So we need to keep one, two, three, four, five. Wait, yeah. So we only got two mana here. So we're not playing anything from hand here. We could pop this uh, to make this guy bigger. And I probably will do that. Let's go ahead and attack. Attack with fall, confirm. Let's see what he does. I mean, it's pretty much over. All right, since he blocked that, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this. Uh, yep, we want to use those two. Just to squeeze in an extra damage from that guy. And we're heading for 15, 15 damage. He's down to three. And... We could do this other stuff, but I'm going to hold on to Archangel Avacyn just in case he um, pulls out the Planet Outburst or something like that. And then we can make our guys get indestructible. So, what you got, bro? You got a full grip over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards over there. Got another Nissa's Renewal. That won't help you. Dark Salvation. That will let him... Target player puts X2-2 black zombie creature tokens in the bag. Alright. It's gonna kill something of mine. And gain a bunch of zombie tokens. He can get minus four. Then up to one target creature gets... Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not what's happening. He's going to bring down Jace. He's going to re return somebody to my hand. That's fine. I don't, I mean, that still doesn't save him. All right. We'll uh, continue playing, but I think our opponent is done. Puts that guy. Uh, do we flash in? I guess it doesn't matter. We don't need to bring in the Archangel. We can get through his blockers. I mean, we've got more than enough. So, just waiting here. Hello. All right. He does get a zombie. Um, he can block two of my blockers, but I still kill him. So, I'm okay with that. And we drew another <laughs> woodland wanderer. We're going to put this. And I think we just attack. I could probably make one of these new. Eh, it's fine. Attack with four. No, we're just attacking the player. Confirm attack. He blocks with two. And the last one kills him. Right? Right. All right. Thanks for playing, Brigai. All right, so our opponent is playing first. We've got two lands, but no green, and that is really bad. We're gonna draw a new hand. Our likelihood of us drawing into green is, is bad. Um, this is okay. I like something a little better, but I like the grapple, grapple with the pass, so we'll go ahead and keep it. 
And uh, we'll probably turn one needle spires. Because we don't have a turn one place. We'll go ahead and drop that down. That gives us access to our white and red right off the bat. Then we can play the forest. Then we can uh, grapple with the past during our opponent's turn. Alright, get to Elvish Visionary. Always a fun card. So our opponent's black and green could be a... Uh, let's go ahead and drop this forest down. And pass the turn. Could be a... Um, Aristocrat's Sacrifice deck. We'll grapple with the past during his end step. Though a Vessel of Nascency could be nice, but... Swings for one. Very pedestrian right now. Does he play anything else after that? Is read the bones? Okay. All right. During the Zen step, we'll go ahead and grapple with the past. Looking for not necessarily a land, but I guess we're getting a land. And what do we lose? All right. I would have liked that Nessus pilgrimage actually. Um, well, control two more basic lands. I don't want to put that into play yet. Let's go ahead and just, I guess, drop another forest here and then drop this vessel of nascency. And we'll wait on that. Pass the turn. And let our opponent do things. Now I think we're going to be searching for a creature with this. Artifact, creature, enchantment. Yeah. We've got lands. We've got all the lands we need. So he's going to swing for one. And does he have anything else? Brings the ruins in their wake. It's going to give him a land. And what else? Anything? Alright, he's just going to put a waste into play. So he's got kind of his own ramp there. We're going to pop our vessel here. All right, we got to get going. He's going for some big Eldrazi's. And we're kind of moving, I feel, very slowly here. Let's go ahead and get this Woodland Wanderer. Very nice. We'll get to play him right now, actually. Um, probably has a way to kill it, but what else are we going to do? What do we need to play here? Um, I think this Clifftop Retreat. No. Um, Sun Petal Grove. Yeah, red, white, and green. Okay. Put that Woodland Wanderer. We'll play, pay the max that we can. We get a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Trample. Though, I'm sure he's holding something to kill it sure of that but that's the play I needed to do that oh he's gonna pilgrimage oh god he's probably got Ulamog chilling in his hand he's going for the big old Drazi that's that's what's going on for sure that's for sure wow he is he's ramping faster than I am there we go another another dude there We do have our own Ulamog, but we're not moving quite as fast as he is with the land, and especially not drawing the things we need. Um, oh, this is Bruna. We don't have enough to for her. Let's go ahead and I don't want to put any of these. Um, well, yeah, I could. Doesn't matter. I'll put that into play. Let's go ahead and attack. Keeping uh, uh, the Archangel up in case I need to protect him. And that'll be the turn. So, question here. Do I plop down the Archangel during his end step? I think I might. I think I might. I really need to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow, he's already up to 8 mana. He is 2 away from Ulamog. Um, if he gets Ulamog, our only 
chance is to get our own Ulamog. There goes. He's got the mana for it. So now I don't know if I play the Archangel. Well, if I do, I can get her back with uh, Bruna the Fading Light. Does Ulamog. Does Ulamog exile? I think he does. I think he does exile stuff. Um. Man. All right, screw it. Let's let's go for it. Maybe he doesn't have it. All right, he's forced to discard over there. Let me just throw that down, and I think I'm gonna make this into a creature. And attack with all. We gotta go. We gotta. We gotta race him. Blocks with that. He's gonna take eight damage. I don't know if you really realize that, but it's still probably the way to go. He's at two life. All right. So even Ulama coming down. Even if Ulama comes down, that he exiles, right? He exiles two cards, so we won't be able to get her back with Runa. This is Revelation. All right, he's digging. What does it give him? He draw cards equal to its power. He's gonna go for the Git Rock, but he can't play it this turn. So, all right. Wow. He has quit the game, and we found a way to steal it away. Holy sh! <laughs> Look at all those <laughs> like a rainbow of cards just raining down. All right, let's drop down this canopy vista. Uh, we don't need to play Bruna for any reason, so let's just go ahead and oh shoot, I should have made this into a creature, but that's fine. Let's attack with all those. I don't think I don't think it matters. Kill him for nine damage instead of more. All right, thanks for playing Ray the Baker. All right, so we get to start things off here, and we only got one land, so we don't like that. So let's draw a new hand. Uh, we got two lands that we need. One is tapped, but we got we got this other good stuff. So I think we'll keep this. And as much as I'd like to put Needle Spires, I think throwing an Oath of Nissa first is a little bit better. So let's play the forest and Oath of Nyssa right now. And Oath of Nyssa, we don't care about the second ability so much as we care about this. I think we will take the Sun Petal Grove. Do I have red? Uh, okay, so we'll take the Sun Petal Grove. All right. Choose this, confirm. All right, that worked out okay. And we're going to be able to get a ramp with Nissa's Pilgrimage. Let's go ahead and control Force of Planes. I think we'll, we'll throw this down now because we don't need the two mana. So we'll put this and the Vessel. And the next turn we can Nissa's Pilgrimage. Still having an option for the Vessel. A little bit later on so pretty decent start we have Gisela the broken blade right there we have a planner outburst so I'm feeling pretty good with this um, I think here we're gonna just miss this pilgrimage well uh, if mountain our planes we need to put this some petal grove so we'll put that and this is pilgrimage I could have saved for the vessel, but I like doing this. Getting, let's just get the planes. I mean, like get the forest out, get our land up, ramp as quickly as possible. We do have a woodland wanderer here that uh, we will be able to play for max. 
Is it max? Well, not max, but the max that this deck can make. All right, he gets the a two three werewolf, right? Whenever you get a spell during your turn, draw a card. The beginning of each upkeep, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. All right, um, I think Gisela is kind of nice. I mean, first strike, but I like the Woodland Wanderer. He plays offense and defense. Um. Doesn't matter if I have this in play. I don't have a mountain or plains. Well, just put him playing for three. We'll just plop this down. It'll come into play tab, but we had no real use for it anyway, so that'll be it. All right, he's got a five-five to deal with. That's gonna be kind of hard with only red. With the red mana, that's gonna be tough. No spells of cast, transform, so he can transform. What does he transform into? Oh uh, yeah. Three five. Oh, he's got this chick. Alright. Interesting, interesting. He's got some defense over there, but I think I still go for the attack here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is this is gonna suck for him. Alright, let's drop down this force because we can. Well, let's go into attack. See if he double blocks. Um, let's go for the planeswalker since it's so early in the game. Confirm. Let's see if he double blocks. He might not. All right, we want to kill this guy first, then this, and we're gonna flash in Archangel Avison. I always say her name wrong. It's Avison, right? I think so. So our guy gets indestructible, correct? Kills those two, survives, and now it's our opponent's turn. All right. He did keep her alive though, but we got a flyer now that can kill her. It brings this guy. What's this guy again? A two? I have. I don't really see these. Uh. Trans oh, he's the one that you gotta pay to transform. What does he turn into? Uh, a 5-4. Pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous, but we got a plan outburst in our hand if things get crazy. What are you doing? Are you shooting me? You got some Alright. Alright. I can respect that. I can respect Wait? That was it? Really? All right, so what do we do here? We could probably plop down Chandra. And, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. All right, we'll bring this down. Plop down Chandra. We'll make the two little flame dudes. And both flame dudes will attack her. And the rest to the face. Does she have vigilance too? I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we'll confirm that attack. I don't know if he's got many answers here. Uh, definitely a werewolf deck. And we are uh, making a mockery of him. Alright. You can kill my guy if you want if you can no he didn't even have the damage all right all right now I don't really need to play anymore I mean I'd like to play Gisela but no need uh, he gets these guys the arsonists they're five fours no biggie um, there's no reason for us to hold lands so put that down we'll go ahead and us here get the two dudes and I guess we attack all for the face we'll probably lose out woodland wanderer but that's fine uh, we could actually make this into a creature and attack also um, yeah let's do that
uh, I'm, I'm okay if he kills it. If he if he blocks that, I mean he's taking nine uh, death, <laughs> uh, death. So he's so it'll it'll get through. I think we do we have him here. Uh, attack or fall? Confirm. I think this may be it for him. I don't think he, even if he blocks this, he takes eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, four. yeah, he's dead. He's dead. This doesn't know it yet. Best thing he can do is stop this, but then he still takes eight damage. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep. So that should put him like right at zero. There we go. Thanks for playing Sprat, and I don't know why everything zoomed in like that. All right, so we get to start things off here, and we got three mana and this is pilgrimage. I think I'm okay with this. Um, doesn't matter what we lead off with. We'll throw out the forest. Kind of doesn't matter. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any plays until turn three, which is a bit scary, and we've got some heavy heavy cost cards here in our hand, but our opponent plays a tap land. So that makes me feel like we've definitely have time on our side. Can we play this? We can play that. Untapped is what I was meaning by that. Can we play it? Of course we can play it. I want to play it untapped. All right, a werewolf deck. Actually, these guys are really nice even outside of a werewolf deck, but not too worried about them. Um, a Vessel Nascency is cute, but I think we're just going to play this Mountain and a Nissus Pilgrimage. And we're going to get some lands here and ramp up to some good stuff, hopefully. He'll attack me here for two damage, probably. Oh, actually, uh, if no Explosive Cast last. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Alright, thankfully he can't equip that. Oh, that's dangerous right now. Alright, so he's gonna hit me for four here. So that's neat. We don't really have a play here other than uh, a pilgrimage. We got a planet outburst, which will save our butts. And if we can ramp to Ulamog, let's see, we'll. Uh, let's go to throw down a forest. Let's miss this pilgrimage right now. And get some more of these. And I can play this vessel. Unfortunately, I can't crack it yet. We have eight mana total. Not quite ready for Ulamog yet. But we can get Chandra. We can get Chandra down and she can kill that basically. So he's gonna equip it with this. So we we can still kill it with Chandra. She'll just have to take two damage. I still might do that. That that might be the play there. See what he does. He hasn't played any other creatures, which is interesting. So that's going to flip now. Oh, we're not going to be able to Chandra it now. Oh, shit. All right. I guess we got to plan Alpers just to take out that one guy. Um, and this stays in play, which is not fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't have the mana we need yet. We can get more with the vessel. I think we have to kill. We have, I think we have to plan outburst that. So let's. Uh, well, we need the other white. So we'll plop that down. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, he could have sacrificed this. This player, right? Yeah, he could have sacrificed that. So that was kind of a mistake on his part. And I think. Uh, 
I already played a land this turn, so I don't need to crack this. So we'll pass the turn. We'll wait to his turn. See if he gets anything down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably will go for a land. There goes Chandra. His own Chandra. What's this guy? A 2 1 that can transform. Alright, during his end step, I, I want to look at this a little bit closer. Turns into 4 4. That is hard to block. Let's go ahead and crack this. All of these are good, but I think I need the land. And we'll put this. Well, we could put this down, the rootbound crag. Can't get Ulamog yet. We could put the Widow, but we don't have Delirium, so we won't get all the all the little critters. Um, I could grapple with the past, which will get me Gisela. Then you mean to a creature or a land card? There's no lands there. I could get Gisela. She actually will be helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm obsessively counting the lands. Um, but we actually might get the, the other land we need right here with this. So I think this is what we do. Alright, so we'll grapple. I have some options here. Oh, alright. We'll go for this. I, I think I need to get Ulamog down. Uh, well, we still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turns. Uh, what am I saying? Eight, uh, eight, nine, ten. So we still got two turns before we can play him. So I think uh, we have Delirium now. So let's go ahead and put her down. Though he can kill her with anything he equips with this. I really wish these guys had like Death Touch. Well, he's not going to... I don't think he's going to attack with Chandra. So he's just going to equip this. He might transform it. He might transform it. That's a possibility. Alright, so he's tapping her to ping me. Playing that. We didn't draw anything great here. Don't have enough for Ulamog yet. Um, we could Chandra. We could kill all his guys right here. All right. Play Chandra. And we'll do... We'll spend two. It'll kill my guys. I could just spend one. But then he has a chance at transforming her. When she transforms, she can be, she might be kind of tough, but not, uh, I think we let her live. I think we do it for one and then keep our guys alive. So let's do that. Um, just for one, let's try it. See if he's got something to save his guys. I should probably should have done it for two, but I don't think it would have mattered. Even if I did it for two and he has something to save his guys. Um, Alright. What's that? Whisper then to each other creature you could choose the gets plus three. Nice. Alright. So yeah, so even if I had done two, that wouldn't have done a whole lot. That would have that would have stopped it. That would have stopped it, so that's fine. There's a lot of pausing here. Alright. So I'm glad I didn't kill off my guys. Alright, we'll skip the attack there. Alright, so let's see what we got. 
He can either choose to transform this or equip it. Equipping it is probably better because it gives it first strike. Let's see what he's got. I mean, a better thing might have been just to take make the two little flame guys an attack. But I feel I think it was worth the gamble just trying to pop his guys real quick there. I don't think he's got too many tricks left in his sleeve. I have never even seen that creature. Oh, that's bad. That's pretty bad. He's going to go ahead and ping us there. Alright, well, we got Ulamog coming this turn, so what do we get rid of? Well. Hmm. Well, almost definitely. The, probably the two planeswalkers, actually. He swings with that. Um, I could let it hit there, but there's no sense to do that. I could block with this. They'll kill each other. Because he'll do one damage plus another. Um, and it might be better just to chump block. Not all his guys can transform. I think I'd like to kill that. Um... But we'll go ahead and go for the chump block right now. We'll just chump block. We'll let's, we need to buy some time and draw some stuff. Plan outburst would be nice. Another one, anyway. Or a uh, radiant flame. So we haven't drawn any of those. We get Livala, which is actually very good. Very good. Um. Question is, do we do her first or no? I, th I think I need to get rid of both of these planeswalkers. Um, though this is terrible too. This Ashmouth Blade is pretty bad for us. Um, I don't think he can save his guys again. I don't think he can save his guys again. Um, let's do it for two. If he can, God bless him. Probably should have now. Probably should attack with my guys, but it's fine. All right, and then so now Linvala is not a great idea. Um, we'll just Ulamog here, and we're just gonna get rid of both of these. Those are two very problematic cards. Alright, and we don't attack. Do we attack? No. Keep that on defense, just in case. Just in case. Keep that 3-3 three, three home. Even though we got a 10-10 over here, but... Alright, our opponent has quit. He's had enough, I think. I think we turned the corner. I'd like to play Linvala, but... Um, yeah, gain the life, but I think we get, oh, there's a planner outburst. All right, let's go ahead and, um, make these two dudes. Go into the attack. Uh, we'll tackle fall. Oh, I almost said skip attack. Tackle fall, confirm. And he has to block something. Let's block anything. Wow. Well, we'll play Linvala here. Gain some life. We we're just short on on killing him. And there we go. And we didn't get the life because I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot and should have played that first. So there's a smolding werewolf. Uh, deals up to two, two damage. That's fine. I 
totally forgot that I'm hitting him, so I don't want to play her after the attack. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. There's the Radiant Flames we were looking for, but let's go ahead and just end this here. And he is forced to block, so... Attack will fall. I could have just cleared it. I could have just cleared the opposition with the Radiant Flames, but it's fine. It's fine. I just want to end this as quickly as possible. There we go. Alright, thanks for playing Felix de Castro.